as will work. Hope we will not hear stories on election day. Hope the portal is safe and secure, the IRF portal. Hope people will be able to send the results there. And we will not hear a case like we heard in our show that it was some voters that gave the INEC officials data on their phone to transmit results. Hope INEC has sorted all of these things out. The security. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I decided to come and rant about what is going on in the country right now. As we all know, the election took place on Saturday, which was two days, three days ago. I cannot but show my disappointment about the things going on in this country right now, about the election in Nigeria right now. They are collecting the election results. So, everything I've seen online has been so disheartening, so sad and so disappointing. We've been waiting all these months, all these years, for this day to finally come. It came, and the, the results we are seeing and we're getting is, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not adding up. It's not adding up. They are just signs, or they are just like results of. Can you be walking under darkness? What? How transparent is this process? You are walking without lights. Yeah, they have tried. They are using their like phone lights. You see how they are using their phone light? They are using it. Yes. This is not the first time they are doing it like this. This is not the first time. Yeah, this is not the first time. They are doing All what we have seen in this country that things don't actually work in this country. This country is so corrupt to the extent that things don't work. I like promised us um, transparency, um, credibility, and all those other, other big, big English words. But the opposite is what we are seeing. The beavers that they said is going to collect all the results and there will be accountability on the beavers. There will be the INEC portal where we can check the results. But the results that we are seeing, they are not adding up to the votes. Imagine even people that have voted, their, their boxes, their ballot box was seized. Some of them were scattered. Like, people's votes are just wasting here and there. People's votes are wasting some places. They did not, the voting did not take place. Imagine even people like on the Saturday, on Saturday, when the election was supposed to take place, people still got to their polling units late. Imagine, they said something was start by 8.30. Voters were already waiting for hours. And we're waiting for all these, like I'm waiting for this for years and for months. Only for people to come late. And the, uh, voters should be waiting. Like, it's even breaking their spirit. Like, and it's just disappointing. This is the first time that youth will come outside and actually, like, our, our eyes are finally opened. This is the first thing I used to come outside to vote. Security! There is no good hospitals. There's neither good roads. Nothing worse. The educational system is in shambles. And for once, youth are coming out to vote. And we have been disenfranchised. It brought their lives. It is heartbreaking. And it's now sad because the results we are getting is not adding up. It's not adding up at all. Imagine somebody making an election in broad daylight. You don't be voting this for a year. Go to your house. Nobody wants to come here. Go out so if I see you vote around a party, I will call Luca. If I see you vote around a party, I'll go ahead and go out. No one joke for you. This day, you know where you get. I have to see you. Go to your house. Go to your house. Telling people that if it's not APC, they are going to vote for no vote for this place. So this place now only for APC. And the police officers did nothing about that. What does that? What does that say? What does that tell about the police officers of this country? They didn't do anything about it. The man was rigging election. He was telling them, he was threatening people that they should not vote for any other party except APC. And they did not do anything about it. That man is working freely. I can't imagine that some people are still collecting bribes in this country. Like at this age and time, people are still collecting bribes to sell their votes. After all the awareness that we have been creating all this month, vote wisely, don't sell your votes. People are still selling their votes. Where are you? Where are your cards? Where are your cards? Now, what do you wish for the other? 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 How much is the money? 
you will spend that money within one week and you will not suffer for another four years. I don't understand. Things are very corrupt in this country and things are not working. They are anything to do better. And nobody wants to accept any any wrong results this time around. People are angry. People are angry. They will not accept rubbish for my neck this time around. You cannot just keep going like going around a circle all the time. Things are just the same. Nothing is changing for the better. Nothing is changing for the better. Things are just corrupt and the same, same old nonsense, same old corruption, same old incompetences in this country. And people are like people are tired. Nobody wants to suffer for another four years. We are tired. And this country is not even helping matters. I feel like they should just bring foreign bodies to come and help us because I don't think we can help ourselves. Except divine divine intervention. It's only God that can intervene in the case of this country. This country is so corrupt. The system is not capable of doing something in a in a very transparent and reliable way. And does not attach to any of all these uh, politicians. After all these months of waiting, the OLX is giving us wrong results. Some places over voting, some places it's not even adding up. Some places the ballot boxes were being seized. Some people were ringing the election in broad daylight. When will this when will this country change for the better? I don't understand. You, you guys should drop your comments in the comment section. Anyways, guys, I just think our government needs to do better. We need to do better, honestly. Like it's just a circle, they're just within a circle and all of them in that circle, I feel like they feel entitled. They feel entitled to become president. Then the next person in that circle will become a president. The next person in that circle will become a president. And they are all together. Nothing is changing for the better. They are so selfish. I don't know when I don't know when their minds will finally open to the fact that we are suffering. The citizens are suffering, so they should do better. I don't know when they will put the feelings of the citizens in front before their own selfish interest. And even within the, for the next 10 years, even if we get a good government, the next 10 years is not enough to take this country to where it's supposed to be. This country, like, it has, culture has been so deep to the extent that 8 years cannot solve our problem. Our problems cannot be solved within 8 years. We need serious change. We need serious change in this country. And we are the only ones that can do it ourselves, unless we need foreign bodies to help us because I don't know, nothing is working. I'm just tired of this country. And you cannot, like, people that people are traveling abroad, people are traveling abroad. You cannot carry all your family members abroad, though. No matter, how, no matter how many people in your family travel abroad, you cannot carry everybody along. Everybody in your family, your generation cannot go abroad. If everybody wants to go abroad, who will remain in the country? Who will remain in the, in the country? Everybody cannot travel abroad. It's not as if abroad is even that easy. When you, when, you, when you get there, it's not as if it's that easy. You still have to like also. Why can't we make our own country better and we should be able to stay and be part of our country? Like Nigeria is not a place to be like apart from the entertainment industry, I think that's the only place that is doing well in this country. That's the only aspect of this country that is doing it, the entertainment industry. This, every other aspect is so 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 bad. Like so 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 bad. There is no there's no money to spend. You didn't do anything about it. Like election is finally over. They should release the money from the bank. If it's the new money they want to give us, they should release it and let us see money to spend. You cannot just keep suffering. Like then you just know how to adapt so much to suffer to suffering. You know how to adapt so much to suffering. Life goes on, we just continue to live life and manage life and just managing everything in this country. And leaders are just making poor decisions for us and we will just follow suit. It's so tiring, it's so tiring. We need a change, we need a great change in this country. I hope that by the time they call the results, it's going to be fair and fair, and it's going to be the real results, not like the ones they've already manipulated. Our voice should be heard, our voice is supposed to be heard. They are supposed to listen to us. It's so sad, like people's votes are not even counting. People are sad because they could not even vote, they could not even, they don't have the right to even vote who they want to vote. It's so sad. You guys should drop your, your, drop your comments in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. And if you're tired, please let me know. Just type I'm tired in the comment section because I'm tired. I'm tired of this country's problems. So you guys should drop your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and share. What other type of videos do you want to see? Drop them in the comment section. I want to be doing more public interviews now. So you guys should drop um, questions in the comment section. 
and I'll try and attend to them. I'll reply all your comments. So please, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.